the hometown Tigers and the hometown Bowl for the first time in our 59 years. Uh, we know uh, Saturday is going to be an interesting day. Two great football teams are excited about that. Uh, we'll have an opening statement from Coach, then we'll take questions. Well, we, were, we, were, we, we, we had heard that we had the chance to play in this bowl game. We were very, very excited about it. And, uh, you know, usually you, you, you go to these bowl, bowl games and you, you think about traveling somewhere, somewhere warm. <laughs> but uh, we were hoping that this would work out. Very, very excited to be and honored to be in this bowl game. It's a, got great tradition. And, and for us to represent the city of Memphis in Memphis is quite an honor. Questions for Coach? What challenges does this Iowa State offense give you guys? Uh, you know, they're very balanced. They, they got a really good running back. And they, they do a good job running the football. Uh, and they've got two really good receivers with great height. You know, so we've got to really do a good job of, uh, of obviously stopping the run and controlling the pass. But they're very well balanced, very well, well balanced offense. Coach, you mentioned their running back. What specifically does Montgomery do so well? To breaks a lot of tackles. Very, very tough runner, very strong, um, breaks a lot of tackles. I read something the other day that he uh, uh, led the nation. So I don't know who keeps track of that, but somebody does. Uh, led the nation in broken tackles. So he, he does a tremendous job, very tough. You know, we got to get 11 hats to the football and uh, stay, what we say, stay clamped when we're tackling. But he's a tough, tough football player. Coach, well, you've got a decent receiver in Anthony Miller, and uh, Tony Pollard breaks a few tackles himself. So. Using uh, practicing against those guys does that help you prepare That's against us a ton, them? Yeah, you know we, we don't do a lot of live stuff this time of year, but you know through spring ball and, and through camp, we got we got a great look at, at uh, you know some really good athletes you know going against our guys, and that's helped us a ton. And I think this year too we've done a really good job emphasizing tackling. We've been a pretty good tackling team so far this year, so hopefully we can finish that. Oh, uh, coach, you. You guys are playing against the Iowa State team, kind of a, a different kind of squad than you see in the AAC. Is there anything different you're doing defensively or you're going to pretty much do, try to do the same scheme no. and the same things you're doing all the time? You know, I think the hardest thing about these bowl games is, you know, sometimes you think you got a lot of time, you know, to get ready for it. You really don't because you're on the road recruiting. And this year was the first, first time we've had the early signing date. So um, all of a sudden you look, you've only got, you know, three, three and a half, four weeks to prepare for this, but that's not really the case because you're on the road recruiting. So the toughest thing about preparing for these things, these games is, is not to put too much in, you know. So we like to go back. You got time to go back and work on fundamentals, uh, but we're going to just do what we do, you know. Do what we do, and, um, uh, and again, we got our hands full, you know. We got our hands full, but we're, we're going to run our defense. Coach, your, your teammate, excuse me, your teammate showed a lot of improvement going into the Central Florida game, and then Central Florida, you know, they did what they did. It was another high-scoring game. You know, what did, lessons did you take from that, and what have you worked on since that game? Um, you know, that was, that, they're a great, great football team um, to give them a lot of credit. You know, we did some things, you know, we, we didn't play very well in the back end. You know, um, about halfway through the, the second quarter, we lost both our safeties. I think that hurt us quite a bit. We didn't really get got one of them back in the fourth quarter. Um, but we learned, we learned some things, you know, we gotta, we got to help some of our younger guys on the back end. A little bit. Uh, we're still, uh, you know, we lost seven, graduated seven defensive backs last year. Uh, we've got a lot of freshmen playing back there right now. Um, so I think we left them uh, in some tough situations, you know, and uh, I think that's something we've learned coming out of that game. But I think we've got that fixed, you know. Um, again, the, the, we've got a challenge with the two big receivers they've got. They're very, very talented. Very, very talented. And the quarterback does a good job getting the ball to them. Coach, uh, the turnovers have been such a big part of the success of this team for the last two years under you. And despite the yards that have been given up, it seems like you need to make a play they do. How, how instrumental have the turnovers been in the success of your defense, and how much will it play a part in Saturday's game? That's, that's, the, well, that's the biggest thing we emphasize. You know, Coach Norvell uh, makes it very clear that he wants the ball back. And so we, we do a really, really good job of emphasizing and getting that ball back for our offense. Uh, we, uh, you know, the one stat you can really look at at the end of the game, if you didn't know the score, didn't know the outcome, you just picked up the, the turnovers. And whoever's won that turnover battle usually wins the game. Um, on the average, uh, uh, you know, that's an extra five plays that, that we get offensively when we get the back, ball back for offense, and, and that's five less plays that we have to play. So uh, we stress it. Um, it's going to be big in this game, very big in this game. Uh, I don't think somebody told me the other day, and I don't, uh, this is true, yeah, I don't think they lost a fumble all year. I think they've lost the fumble all year, so we're going to try and change that. Try and change that. You know, we always go in the game with three plus. We get three plus turn takeaways, and um, hopefully we can get that done. 
because you guys have played in hurricanes, the rain, the heat. Now you're going to play in the cold. How does that affect preparation? Does it affect the defense at all? In uh, of playing in not, the really, not really. Not um, really. You know, I'd, I'd say it hurt us if we had an indoor facility because we'd be, be practicing inside and be soft about it now. But we've been outside practicing it. It was cold this morning when we practiced. And our kids, you know, they were they were fine. We're fine. I think we're going to be okay. We'll be just fine. What's your opinion of Joel Lanning and a uh, linebacker who made a transition from quarterback just a year ago? Very impressive. Very impressive. So impressive that Coach Lanning says, our linebacker coach says he related to him. So, not true. <laughs> but, uh, he is a very, very, very impressive football player. Very impressive. Make that transition from quarterback to that position and be so successful is, is, a, is a really, really tough to do. Really tough to do. Obviously, this season has been really, really good for this program, this team. But what would a win in this game mean for just how you how how you view this season going forward? Well, you know, since night they've been playing football here since 1914. No one's ever won 11 games. And I think uh, the thing that that, that you could actually walk off that field with a win. You walk off that field with a win. You can say you're the best football team that we played. Uh, so I think that's that, that's the thing we've been focusing on. And uh, you know, this team has done a lot of things this year. That that, that you know, it's third win, uh, ten win season. We've been undefeated in the, uh, the Liberty Bowl, first time in, in school history. Uh, so we, we'd like to finish it off with a win. And, and, and the senior class, you know, to be able to say that they were the best team they ever played. Coach, I'm, I'm curious, just as, as a coach, and you mentioned the early signing period, did that really make things really hard for you guys? Yeah, you know, it really sort of snuck up on everybody, I think. You know, you're so, so many years, I've been doing this for 32 years, and you're so used to that first Wednesday in February. Yeah. And all of a sudden, man, you turn around, and you're like, man, they're going to sign in a couple of days, you know? So you're trying to, it just threw you off a little bit. It was a big adjustment, big adjustment. Because now, you know, you're getting towards you're trying to prepare for a bowl game, but you're also trying to get those guys to, to sign. You know, he's still recruiting really hard. And, uh, but, yeah, I think it, it, it snuck up on a lot of people. And it, and it was tough. It was tough. It's tough to, to, to stay focused and prepare for this bowl game, but also recruit uh, like you need to recruit to get those guys signed. The fact that you're still uh, practicing and pre preparing for a game after Christmas, how much leverage does that give you in trying to sign some of these guys? Um, you know, it was nice because the kids could come out to practice and watch practice. That, that was good. But, um, and then the publicity that we're still getting, you know, from being able to still playing, I think that helped. You know, and this book rank being ranked in the top 20, you know, when when it really helps recruiting, it really helps recruiting, and the, the fact that we're still playing and playing in the Liberty Bowl, you know, it's a big deal, big big deal, especially out of our conference, and uh, be able to play in such a great bowl game, uh, really really helped us in recruiting. Anybody else for coach? I think some, if not all, of the players are here. Any, any last call for coach? What'd you get for Christmas? Anything special? Um, you know, we, we got up and uh, I thought we had a limit. I got a 24 year old, a 13, and a six. All from the same marriage, by the way. <laughs> and yeah, I know what call. I don't know. I get the jokes all the time. <laughs> but uh, but I thought there was a three present limit, but I was way off. It was it was more like a six or seven, so we had a lot of presents and it was good. Uh, my my, uh, my uh, wife's mom and her sister were in town. It was a great Christmas. Thank you. Mm -hmm. great Christmas. Cool.